Worries over a possible teacher strike in Minneapolis could soon be over. The school district and union members reached a tentative contract agreement overnight. WCCO's Marielle Mose checked in with parents of Minneapolis students. Yeah, I'm glad things are moving forward and that the kids don't have to miss school. Barton Elementary parents are feeling relieved, waking up Thursday morning to learn a potential teacher strike could be avoided. A collective sigh of relief. Oh, thank God. <laughs> The district and the teachers union have been in contract negotiation for months. Educators have been working for 300 days on an expired contract. The teachers are fighting for higher compensation. I think teachers should be paid more because they do really important work and, and it's for our children, you know. A lot of Minneapolis parents still haunted by the 2022 strike, which had kids out of the classroom for three weeks and delayed their start to summer vacation. It's stressful. It's just it, it's a lot of last minute planning. It's a lot of just kind of, you know, piecing a day together, trying to get your job done, trying to make accommodations for your child. So, yeah, it's very stressful. A strike induced school closure is even more stressful for homes where both parents work. Goodness that that we can send our kids to school and not have them running around, you know, in the basement while we're somewhere in, in a corner trying to, <laughs> to execute our workday. And Malia Hausnecht has two kids at Barton Elementary. She knows too well that the fight I, continues I, after today and hopes families show their support by keeping their kids at Minneapolis schools. I really feel like parents with some level of economic privilege, part of what we need to do to build the community that we want to have is to opt in. In the East Harriet neighborhood, Mary Elmo's WCCO News. We will learn more details about this agreement if the rest of the teachers union approves the deal. Some union members are still in strike limbo. The educational support staff have not reached an agreement and are expected to move forward with a strike vote.